Basiru Dio Maifai is a Senegalese politician and former tax inspector who became the president-elect of Senegal in March 2024. Fai was born and raised in Indio Ghana, where he attended Marie's Mediatrice Catholic School. He later attended Lazdimba Diop in Imbob, where he graduated in 2000. Fai went on to obtain a master's degree in law from University Czech Anta Diop of Dakar. He then attended the National School of Administration of Senegal, also in Dakar, where he trained to be a tax inspector. Faye met Osman Sonko, also a tax inspector at work. Sonko had founded and at the time was leading a trade union, the Autonomous Union of Tax and Dominion Agent, which Faye joined. In 2014, Sonko formed a political party, African Patriots of Senegal for Labor Ethics and Fraternity. Faye also joined the Sonko's party, which they called it Pastor. Faye eventually raised to the executive leadership level in the party. In the following years, however, Sonko faced legal charges that he and his supporters maintained were politically motivated. He was arrested in 2021, after which Faye became Secretary General of PSTEF. In April 2023, Faye himself was arrested and jailed on charges of defaming magistrate and contempt of court, stemming from his comment about magistrate behavior in some of Sonko's legal proceedings. On 31st July, the government dissolved PESTEF, alleging that the party had held violence protests early that year and also in 2021. Netherlands PESTEF leadership prepared for the country's 2024 presidential elections. They were concerned that Sonko, who has since been convicted of crime, would not be allowed to be a candidate and plans were made to choose another senior party member to stand for the presidency, though Fai was still in jail, he was selected with Sonko's support to stand as an independent candidate in the February 25th elections if Sonko's was not able to do so. In January 2024, Sonko's was indeed confirmed as being disqualified by the Constitutional Council. On 6 March, the government announced that the election will be held on 24th March. Also, on 6 March, the National Assembly passed an amnesty law that the affected jail opposition members and protectors under the law of Fai and Sonkos were released from jail on 14th March. They quickly hit the campaign trail together and Fai, being still relatively unknown, they capitalized on Sonkos' popularity with the slogan, Dear my Mu Sonko. Fire campaign on the promise to tackle corruption, he also said he would seek monetary reform and renegotiate contracts for the country's lucrative natural resources. He also criticized the current state of Senegalese leaders. When the March 2024 election was held, Fire was one of the crowned foot of 19 candidates with no clear front runner. After the pool closed, however, it quickly became apparent that Fai was on track to get more than 50% of the vote. Within 24 hours, other candidates considered the elections to him on the basis of preliminary and incomplete results. Official provisional results released on 27 March shows that Fai won 54.28% of the vote, making Fai the winner of the Senegal election. Fire victory reflected frustration among youth with high unemployment and concerns about governance in the West African nations. In his first speech delivered as president-elect on Monday, the former tax inspector promised a fresh chapter following the months of violence and many political arrests that lead up to the elections. Hi family, this comes the end of the video. If you are new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for more videos like this.